so that's the idea for like overall health and longevity and stuff like that. But what really pushed me over the edge to finally do it, and the reason why I've been like lagging to do it for a while now was because it just didn't go on. Hey, what's up guys? It's Mr. Jackie Ma, and today is day one of my three-day water fast. So, I am about 19 hours in. I had dinner last night with a friend. Right now it's 3 p.m. It's going really smoothly. So, I plan on doing everything the same. I don't plan on taking it easy or anything. Well, okay, besides the gym. So, I normally work out six days a week, but uh, I'm thinking I might just keep it to like walk in or something. Um, because, yeah, I don't know, I'm kinda nervous. Don't wanna die. Probably gonna be working the same, I'm gonna be still doing other stuff, taking cold showers, meditating, like, the same old, usual Jackie type stuff, right? But, the only thing I'm changing is not eating, and instead of my usual uh, lifting weights and stuff, I will instead just go for a walk. Something pretty chill, pretty easy. I'm excited to see what happens. So this is kind of a underrated idea, but, you know, we don't always have to be eating, right? So sometimes I forget that and, you know, these longer fasts really help remind me that it's gonna be okay. So yeah, so the next three days, it's gonna be pretty exciting. This is the first time I'm doing a three-day fast. I've done at most two days and I do like one day pretty pretty often. So yeah, I'm excited. Oh my goodness, let's see what happens. Okay? Hey, what's up guys? It is day two of the three-day fast and not gonna lie, um, I got a little hungry yesterday, but it's kind of weird because like hunger kind of comes in waves. So once you get past that wave, it just goes away and you're fine. So I'm still good, still going strong, still feeling pretty good, all things considered. Uh, but there are a few things that I realized, just like, dang. So I had some bananas that were pretty ripe and I was like, oh, I'm not gonna have time to eat them because I'm not gonna quit the fast for some bananas. So what I ended up doing is that I froze them so that's an amazing way to store bananas if your bananas are ripening too fast. I think you have like eight left and they're getting really ripe so you can freeze them. You know, just make sure that you peel off the peel first because otherwise it's not gonna be fun for you. So I'll probably just put a clip here somewhere of me doing that. Um, but I was thinking about how I wanted to break my fast and I was thinking, because when you're fasting, and when you do prolonged fast, your gut microbiome, your gut is very sensitive. So I really wanted to ease into it. I really wanted to get some probiotic rich foods. So I'm thinking some kimchi, some sauerkraut, some kombucha, stuff like that. And it's not a really light meal. It kind of sucks because you would think like, oh, you don't eat for three days or seven days or however long. And then, you know, you just want to like gorge and eat everything. But, uh, that's not the best approach because of reasons. That's my plan. So I'm gonna go to the store and get some of that stuff. And also, <laughs> I've been dealing a lot with food and not eating it. It's, it's like such a weird. And uh, 44 hours into the fast, and this is not so good. Yeah. Pro tip get your groceries before you start your fast. This was stupidly hard. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was so difficult. I don't know why I do that to myself. Um, yeah, pro tip, make sure you get your stuff before you start the fast. Man, my mouth was watering the entire time and I just kept looking at stuff and I had to put things back to remind myself what I got. But I ended up getting everything I needed and some more things, like a lot more things because uh, when you're hungry and you go food shopping, it is not the best state of mind. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm real excited to got some. I didn't know there was vegan yogurt. I didn't know there was like probiotic rich vegan yogurt, which is pretty freaking cool. So I'm probably gonna break my fast tomorrow with some kombucha, some sauerkraut, uh, probably some yogurt too. Oh gosh, it all sounds so good already. Like normally that wouldn't sound like super appealing, but uh, <laughs> I'm excited, man. I am so excited. So day two, I am 46 hours in, I believe. So uh, real soon, I am. I just need like almost a little bit more than a day left and I should be good to go. Okay, see you then. Day three, so I am actually feeling 
really, really good. I am probably 72 minus 8, 60 something, 60 something hours in, and yeah, I'm feeling really good. I'm not even hungry. Da, 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 da. Yesterday I was a little hungry, um, but I added some sea salt, some pink Himalayan sea salt into my water, and I felt a lot better. And uh, I totally forgot about this, but like usually the fatigue, the dizziness that you might feel if you haven't eaten in a while isn't usually because of a lack of food. It's more of an electrolyte imbalance, right? So adding sea salt, fix that. Really simple fix, doesn't take you out of your fast. And yeah, so pro tip. But yeah, I actually was feeling pretty good. Um, so I did a little physique update, a little like three days in. Uh, I'll probably overlay it over here, maybe with some pictures and stuff, but uh, yeah, no, I'm really feeling myself, man. I'm doing this in the morning right now, it's like 10 a.m. And honestly, uh, compared to day one, I like this lighting a lot more. So when you're comparing my like day one versus my day three, remember that you know lighting plays a lot of it. I'm posing, flexing real hard, so that's definitely a factor. Right? But in addition to that though, I uh, I really do feel like a little like leaner. I like didn't work out or anything, so I didn't have a pump today. I didn't have a pump earlier. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know that. But it's ridiculously hot here in Berkeley. Um, I think it's gonna get like up to like 96 degrees, which is like really high for this area. Like for context, most units in Berkeley, we don't actually have ACs, it just never gets that hot. That's a thing, and then also, for the next couple hours, they actually are turning off my water. They gotta fix some stuff in the building. So, I was thinking, oh shit, I need to hydrate, because it's hot as fuck, and also because it is, I'm fasting, right? And uh, so I was thinking, I would probably just go to the library and uh, do some work. Just kidding, before I go, I wanted to tell you why I started the fast in the first place. So I've actually been wanting to do a three-day fast for a while now for the main reason of autophagy, right? Cell autophagy. So that is basically where the cells, like, cell death, right? So you're thinking, why would you want cell death? Why would you want your cells to death? And the idea is your body is trying to be very efficient. So what it ends up doing is basically eats up the bad cells or the weak cells. So you end up with just strong cells, right? You know, strong cells. So that's the idea for like overall health and longevity and stuff like that. But what really pushed me over the edge to finally do it, and the reason why I've been like lagging to do it for a while now was because it just didn't align with my schedule because I normally, again, I worked out like six days a week and you know, it just didn't really fit because I was like, oh, you know, I, I'd never found a time to just like set aside some time to do it. I actually had this really bad uh, foot pain, right? So like it was in my heel. So <laughs> looking on the internet, what I found out was that it was uh, inflammation from so, like heel pain, inflammation of something, overuse, da, 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 da. And, you know, I was like, it really, it really bugged me. It really made it hard to do like everyday things. Um, I pushed through like two workouts, which was like painful-ish, but you know, I got it done. But you know, I took it as a sign like, okay, maybe I should rest, maybe I should like stop for a sec. And I was thinking, okay, cool, perfect. I'm not gonna work out, so I don't have to worry about like feeding my body, da 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 da. So also, fasting or prolonged fast are supposed to, <laughs> from what I've read on the internet, is that it's actually supposed to reduce inflammation. So I was thinking, if I have heel pain from inflammation from overuse, maybe fasting, which will help my inflammation go away, or you know, reduce inflammation, will heal it. And surprisingly enough, or unsurprisingly enough, I feel so much better. My heel feels so much better. I'm not sure if it's a matter of rest. I'm not sure if it's a matter of, well, I'm sure it's a matter of rest too. Because I, again, had not been working out the past three days, so it's a matter of rest, it's a matter of the fasting and the inflammation and stuff like that. So honestly, I'm just really glad that it feels a lot better. And after this, I'm probably gonna go back to the gym six days a week and just you know, really crush it without this nagging heel pain, which is like kind of nice, right? But uh, something that I realized that was like, well, in my mind, I can totally see why people don't work out, like, or or why they feel like they don't want to work out. So I work out six days a week, might be excessive for some people, right? But, uh, you know, I usually end in there for like an hour and a half, and then like the whole routine of like getting there, getting back, eating, da 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 da, da is like maybe like close to two hours, like not gonna lie, because I take my sweet ass time, right? But, you know, so two hours a day for six days a week, I mean, it's for your health, for your body, cool, right? But something else I realized was that during my fast, I mean, I'm still in it, right? But when I was sleeping, when I was getting my rest, I didn't want to have an alarm clock. I just wanted to let my body have as much rest as I needed. 
right? So something that surprised me was that if I were to do that normally when I work out, I actually would sleep for like eight to nine hours, maybe 10 sometimes when I you know, went really hard. And I was like, dang, I didn't realize I could sleep that much. But when I fasting, when I've been working out or not been working out and just, you know, kind of chilling, just doing like sedentary type stuff. I mean, I would go for walks, right? But you know, that's the most, that's the extent of it. And without setting an alarm, I'd wake up naturally within seven hours. So I totally get it because, you know, there's goes an extra two hours of sleep, you know, plus an extra two hours of exercise and whatnot. Uh, so not gonna lie, I had a lot more time. I wasted a lot of time, not gonna lie. Um, but, and then I also didn't have like to eat, right? And make food. So I had a lot of time there and I was just thinking like, dang, what do I do with all this time? Right, which is kind of nice. It was like something I wasn't expecting as a part of this, but uh, you know, I get it, right? But again, um, there are some benefits from that, like time saving wise, but you know, I don't want to make this like a health fitness type of thing, but you know, a part of me feels like I can only get away with not working out for so long before I start feeling the negative consequences of it. So taking this three or four day break is, you know, has been pretty cool, pretty chill, not gonna lie, but uh, Honestly, really excited to get back into it because, you know, I'm, I'm kind of worried. Not, not about my gains per se, but like the mental aspect of it, the habit aspect of it, the clarity, da 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 da. But also, since I'm doing like a challenge type of thing, it may be kind of pushing me in the same way. But enough with that rant. Basically, what I was trying to, oh yeah, I'm gonna keep ranting. Uh, so basically, with that, I was just thinking like, <laughs> Yeah, it gave me a different perspective, right? Because I can imagine or I can see why people feel like they don't have time to work out. But let me tell you, it is so worth it. Extra sleep that, you know, you need to recover or the, you know, working out, the uncomfortableness of all that, you know, it's it's gonna suck at first if you're not used to it. But let me tell you, it is so worth it. So go ahead and lift some weights or something or do whatever you like that is fun, that is sustainable, is something that you can keep doing, that keeps you fit and active, right? So I'm not promoting like a, you know, a fasting, don't eat to lose weight type of thing. I actually am not doing it for that reason at all. I actually think that, you know, a, a more, well, oh, if you want to know more about that, leave a comment in the video because this is getting really long. I don't want to make it too long. So with that, let's go to the library and I'll probably talk to you later. So back home, man, do I look pretty serious when I'm doing work. Just like, but uh, yeah, I guess I was focused, right? I was focused. But uh, yeah, it is a little after 7.30 now and I'm just about done with my 72 hour fast. So I'm 71 hours and 30, 40 something minutes in and honestly, I'm feeling really good. It's like surprisingly, I feel really strong, really focused. I just had like a lot of concentration today and it just, it was good. So yeah. Pretty great day. Okay, so I'm not gonna say that fasting is gonna solve your problems, but not gonna lie, it kinda solved mine, right? Fasting, drinking water, exercising, it's like sounds so simple and it's so cheap, like literally you just don't eat or you just exercise or you just drink water. And it's ridiculous how much that can solve the bulk of your problems, right? So I don't know, if you're not doing that yet, do it, try it out, see how that will change and transform your life and come back and let me know because, you know, that's really exciting stuff. Boom. Okay, before I forget, make sure to smash that like button because it feeds my ego, makes me know that you like this type of video and make sure to subscribe because I'm gonna be posting a lot of cool content like this and, you know, a lot of personal development stuff where I'm just gonna be documenting and sharing with you things that have worked for me or I'm, I'm doing to improve my life, right? Who doesn't want a better life? If you don't, then, you know, go ahead and freaking get your McDonald's or whatever else. Uh, no, I'm just joking. But uh, yeah, no, seriously, check out the rest of my channel, subscribe, because my future videos are going to be even better and cooler because we're always progressing, right? So with that, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you later. Peace.